So at first we had an idea to take the honey that the bees made, somehow modify it and pump it back into the hive for them to consume off of so they could survive off the food that we gave them, not so much change their living environment. And as the project went on, we slowly realized that um, it just, it was, gonna, it was getting really complicated and we didn't really have the brain power or like the resources to be able to figure it out. So we kind of diverged from that and went to more of how we're going to keep them alive just by modifying their environment. And the problems we had to solve were, well, our first idea was just to make like a generic man-made hive, except it was on the ground. And if things are on the ground out here, they get covered in snow and they freeze. And so we came up with the idea to take a beehive and make it so it clasps around the trunk of the tree and be held there by two very long bolts that go through and basically crisscross in the center of the tree. It wouldn't hurt the tree, and, and it, that'd keep it up there. And it, we'd have a uh, something to regulate the temperature and keep it at a 55 degrees, which we studied and found out that's the same temperature as bees hiding it at. And that was basically for solving our first problems. Yeah, and we were also trying to figure out how we keep snow off the top of the hive, so we had a cone shape that was also connected to the hive that would make snow slide off so we wouldn't have to deal with it getting built up with snow. 